I went to one of my parents' friends' house and they had um, those books, those coloring books where like they're, they're little paint dots. And um, my, mom, my mom's friend um, showed me a paintbrush and showed me how you just, you know, put the water on the paintbrush and when you connect, you know, when you paint over those dots, the color comes. And I remember being fascinated and just sitting there uh, for hours going through this book and knocking over the water like three times, I think, and her being so patient and fixing it. And I just remember I wanted to stay there doing that for so long. And I've been, I've been interested in art ever since. For a long time, I wanted to be a fashion designer um, because I found it hard to find modest clothing that was fashionable and we were poor. So my mom, you know, if I did find something, you know, we couldn't afford it a lot. So I started to sew. And so in sewing and discovering that I could make my own clothes, I thought, oh, this is something I could do that I'd love to do, which is uh, fashion, make fashions that are modest yet fashionable and people would want them. and just use my creativity to do that. My mom told me stories when I was young and put that love of stories into me. And uh, my father, when I was um, in creative writing and I doing my creative writing degree, he would, I would give him my stories to read first before I workshop them. And sometimes his like, he wouldn't say much, but like the emotions on his face, uh, you know, sometimes he'd tear up if it was like a sad story and I would say, okay, this is working. Actually, I think I can remember the exact date. It was February 16, 2011, because I had finished a manuscript that wasn't going anywhere and I kept trying to fiddle with it. It wasn't going anywhere. Then. Um, there's a character in there that a lot of people liked and a lot of people want to know more about. So on February 16, 2011, I opened a blog, a private blog, and um, just blogged in, did a first blog in that character's voice. And I said, okay, I'm going to start this story and find out this person's story and the journey. I would love to steal one of um, J.K. Rowling's character, Hagrid, because he's just, just, I don't know, lovable, but just frank and blunt, and just, he's got so many dimensions to his character, and it would be nice to have, like, somebody stable and like that in my books. But there's so many characters that of hers that I would love to steal. <laughs> I would go to the time of the Prophet Muhammad because I just want to ask him questions and just be around him and you know because there's a lot of like things said about him and um, I just want to just understand it from that time. Uh, I would like to be remembered as being um, authentic, uh, as being um, open, friendly, um, I don't know, there for people, helpful and, you know, just accessible, I guess, and that people would be able to approach me for something and get what they needed from me.